Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So just want to make a quick video for you guys updating you on the Washington Commanders cuts. Not doing it on my computer because I got to go to class real quick, but let's get started. So the Commanders started their first cuts Monday morning and so far they have cut three players. Isaiah Mack, defensive tackle that they signed was it a week ago, you know, after the Federer Mathis injury, the Jonathan Allen injury, maybe a little bit less than a week ago. That one, not a surprise at all. You know, again, I said it when he signed, just, you know, signed to be a camp body. The next guy they, they released, Farad Gardner. Again, not a surprise at all. An undrafted free agent last year. And I believe he retired at some point. That might have been another linebacker, but... You know, he was all, it was always going to be tough for him to make it linebacker slash safety. And Ben Stanek tweeted out today, like, the guys that get released today are much less likely to make the, you know, practice squad later because, you know, today is going to be the easier decisions for them and tomorrow is going to be the tougher ones. So they have, you know, today, all day to cut players and tomorrow by 4 p.m. they have to have the 53-man roster finalized, so they still got time. But Fraud Gardner, not a surprise at all. And then the last guy, the biggest name, I would say, is Marcus Kemp. At some, at one point, I thought he was going to make it. I mean, when they first signed him, I thought, you know, okay, there's a chance he's going to make it. But then, you know, they signed Byron Pringle and, you know, a bunch of undraft free agent wide receivers as well. So he's not making it and probably not going to be a practice squad guy either because he was caught on the first day, but wouldn't be surprised if they brought him back at some point. I thought he showed some okay things at times, had a big catch in the first preseason game, but his foot was slightly out of bounds from Brissett. So that one, I mean, I don't think it's, it doesn't surprise me at all that he got cut. Maybe that he got cut with the guys today. So I'm assuming there's going to be maybe like seven to 10 more guys getting cut today. And a lot of the guys similar to you know, names I already said, like guys like Isaiah Max, stuff like that. Those guys are going to get cut today. And then tomorrow we might see some bigger names get cut. Okay, maybe a Jarrett Patterson, if he gets cut, I think he will. Even though I really like him, Jonathan Williams. Guys like that might get cut tomorrow versus today. It'll be the, you know, Aaron Monteros, someone like that, you know, that, you know, really never had a chance, unfortunately, to make the roster. So that's really the update. There's nothing major. You know, those three guys got released and a lot more are coming in the next, you know, few hours and, you know, the rest of the day. I did make a full 53-man roster, you know, prediction on my channel. So go ahead and check that out. I feel pretty good about it. Maybe one or two, maybe three will be wrong, but that's a pretty good hit rate overall. So stay tuned because more cuts will be coming. Do have class for a little bit, but once I get back, I'll go ahead and update you guys on the other cuts. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy and peace.